Customers always ask, how are cheese curds made? We put together a slideshow from farm to sales room. Hope you enjoy it. it. All starts at the farm. 460 producers. Milkers are placed on the cow. Milk goes to the milk receiver jar through the stainless steel milk lines to the milk house. From the milk jar, it goes to the bulk tank where it is cooled to 35 to 45 degrees. The bulk milk collar comes, weighs the milk, then agitates and takes a sample, hooks up the hose and pumps it to the milk truck. Milk truck is weighed at the plant and samples are then taken for antibiotics. The hose is hooked up, then unloaded to a 500,000 pound milk silo. From the silo, milk runs through the ultrafiltration machine, which takes some of the lactose out of the milk at 80,000 pounds per hour. From there, milk goes through the pasteurizer, where it is heated to 163 degrees for 17 seconds, then cooled to about 88 degrees. Milk and starter is pumped into a 55,000 pound cheese vat. Starter speeds up the cheese process. Cheese is cut, stirring and heating starts. It is heated to 101 degrees. It is then pumped into the cheddar machine where the cheese stays and the whey is pumped through the fine saver and goes to the whey end for more processing. Cheese stays in the cheddar machine and knits together so it is one big sheet of cheese about 7,000 pounds. Then it is cut, goes through the salter, blown to the barrel line where it might go through the chiller for cheese curds. Then boxed in 40 pound boxes, the barrels are probed, then pressed, sealed and covered, placed on the pallet, put in the cooler where it is cooled to 38 degrees, stored for about a week, then shipped out. Curd personnel take the curds and bag in various sizes to meet our customers' orders. The curds are sold in our store and shipped to many retail and food service clients nationwide.